Good evening, hyperspinners. Today we're going to be talking about VBA Link, which is an emulator to set up your uh, Game Boy Advance. So get ready. All right, guys, so first things first, what we're gonna do is go to our rocket launcher folder and the modules folder and VBA link, because uh, that's the emulator that we're going to be setting up. I go ahead and open up auto hotkey, and then I just look at the URL, uh, which is there, and I'm gonna plug that into the browser. Uh, you can see that this uh, supports the Nintendo Game Boy, Nintendo Game Boy Color, and Nintendo Game Boy Advance. Uh, if you've seen my prior videos, uh, I've already talked through uh, BGB, which supports the Game Boy Color and uh, the Nintendo Game Boy. So, uh, you know, you've got a number of emulators to uh, choose from. So, uh, you know, pick as you will. So we're going to be talking through uh, the Game Boy Advance. I'm going to go ahead and minimize or close uh, this auto hotkey. And this is the link that uh, is in the auto hotkey. You're just gonna go straight down to where it says download. You're gonna click that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna extract that folder in your uh, emulators folder. Um, so you're gonna put it under hyperspin emulators and you can name it uh, VBA. I've got a couple of these uh, child uh, uh, folders uh, because I, I didn't wanna mess up the original setup that I had. Uh, as I updated and uh, yep so you'll extract everything and you'll see everything that looks uh, to be here uh, you will have to get the BIOS uh, uh, file and the any files that you see there one through four you will have to uh, create which uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to do uh, in just a second um, next uh, what we've got to do is we've got to open up hyper HQ and we're essentially just setting up the system so uh, you guys can get your media and your XMLs. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, push the main menu wizard and you're going to type in uh, Nintendo Game Boy Advance. I'm going to go ahead and try to find it in here. Usually I've got it all prepped up ready for you guys. Uh, so this is all in uh, year order. So it's uh, coming up here uh, any second here. So there's the virtual, there's Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. So you're going to type in Nintendo Game Space Boy Space Advance and the main menu wizard. You're going to push the plus sign and then you're going to say that you have a sub wheel uh, for the system. Once you've done that, you'll be congratulated and you're going to go to the wheel settings. You're going to select Nintendo Game Boy Advance, just like what I've done there. And you're going to have everything disabled there. You're going to have the enabled for the uh, game path. The extensions are zip, comma, GBA. This is going to be helpful for you when you decide to create playlists. So you might as well do it now. Uh, then we've got command line preview is Hyper Launch uh, XE, Nintendo Game Boy Advance, and then the game name. Uh, that will display as default. The executable is going to be the path to your Visual Boy uh, Advance.exe. And your game path is going to be where you put your games. I would recommend it putting it in your emulators folder and, uh, you know, as the uh, game folder as your root. Uh, so we're going to move on. I have customized all my systems to look the same. So what I do is I go to my wheel. I change it to 0.15. So then I've got this light uh, uh, wheel background when it's uh, sitting there. Uh, navigation and themes, it's important to select animated out default themes and reload backgrounds and everything else uh, uh, that you see here. Video is nothing, sound is nothing, uh, you know, everything uh, there is default. And then special art, so I've got uh, at the bottom of my uh, setup and then in the top right of my uh, uh, system I've got genre wheel art and then the animations for my joysticks. So uh, I've got everything set here as enabled and then the location that I want them to be in. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and close out HyperHQ because you have now set that up. 
And next we're gonna go get our uh, XML. So if you go to hyperlist, uh, hyperspinfe.com, you're gonna scroll down to Nintendo Game Boy Advance, uh, which is here, and you're gonna grab that XML file. And what you'll do is you will place that in your, uh, sorry, you'll place that in your database folder, which is in your hyperspin databases. You're gonna scroll down to the new folder that was just created because you created that in HyperHQ. And you're gonna click, uh, well, open up Nintendo Game Boy Advance. And you'll drop that file in there. Uh, later on, we'll talk through how to make these genres, uh, but the XML is gonna be Nintendo Game Boy Advance. And we're gonna minimize that because now we are uh, getting down to the media. So if you guys don't have a uh, Platinum membership, uh, you will have to get your media off of the download page and the FTP has a lot more media than what is actually here uh, but you will find some hidden gems here that are not on the FTP so it's always a good idea to check these out so there's all your packs that you'll uh, you'll want and you'll place that in your media folder here we'll, we'll pull that up real fast so go into media hyperspin media you're going to go down to the system, uh, Nintendo Game Boy uh, Advance, and your images, uh, you know, your themes are going to be one through four, um, or box art and uh, cart art, if there are any. I think I might have just, yeah, the, the box art there. And uh, you'll want your pointers, which are in the other, and uh, letters you'll want. Uh, that one won't show up because there's no games with uh, that uh, prefix. And your wheel art. I've bordered all my wheel art, so it's got that nice steel look. Uh, oh, well, why not? We'll open it here. So there you go. And we're going to continue on. So uh, the themes, uh, you see there's not too many themes that are specific to the games, but uh, there's a nice default. Uh, going on that you can find on the FTP and or the site and then to get these uh, video snaps uh, You'll find these on the MU movie site. I always try to do a backup of uh, uh, You know if if there isn't a video then it will display a You know basically a screenshot, but 99% of the time. It's always a video uh, But I, I like a full media set uh, You know because it's ugly other you know otherwise so we're going to move on and we're going to get this emulator set up and uh, we'll get you guys moving. Um, so I'm going to open up Rocket Launcher UI next. And the first thing we're going to do is go to Global and Emulators. You're going to scroll down to VBA Link. And if you don't see that, you'll push the plus sign. But since I see it here, I'm going to double click it. And you'll type in VBA Link if it's brand new when you click that plus sign. Uh, but you will select the path of where your Visual Boy Advance XE is, where you just drop that. And then your extensions are going to be 7Z, GB, GBC, GBA, and ZIP. You'll separate those with pipes. And then the module is going to be uh, BA link dot auto hotkey. So we're going to go ahead and close that out. And we are going to go straight down to the system on the left pane here. And we are going to go to Nintendo Game Boy Advance. And then you see here, uh, we're going to just skim over the settings tab just to make sure there isn't anything funny here that you guys will need to change. I've got hide front end to true. Uh, you may or may not need to have that set up. Uh, basically, Hyperspin would try to keep focus. Uh, so that's set to uh, true there. Everything else looks to be default. It does look like skip checks is set to false. And the fade general, uh, all that is global, so you don't need to worry about anything there as long as you've been following along with my tutorials uh, with Rocket Launcher uh, UI setup. And next we're gonna go to bezels. Uh, it is set to global, uh, use global, so that means the bezels will be on. And any of the handheld systems, you're definitely gonna wanna have that on. It just makes it look so much better. Um, Next, we're going to look at emulators uh, tab next. You're going to put in the path name of your game by pushing the little plus sign there. And then your default emulator, you're going to push the magnifying glass and you're going to select VBA Link. You've got a number of other options here, but we are focused on VBA Link because uh, you want to use this system to basically 
allow linkage uh, across multiple players. So some games require some link between uh, two Game Boy Advances uh, to unlock different things, and this will allow you to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this out, and this is what your setup should look like. And next we're gonna go to the Modules tab. You're gonna scroll down to VBA Link, and you're gonna click this little yellow uh, Module Note button just so you can see the notes here. So if your emulator is flashing, what you're gonna to wanna to do is in the emulator, you're gonna to go to Options, Videos, Render, Method, and Direct 3D. Uh, OpenGL can sometimes give people problems. Also, it talks about the link feature that I was just describing. Uh, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you are going to set up uh, the system by going to Options, Link, Settings, Single Computer. I'll show you guys how to do that. And then it says to configure the inputs for all four players. So it's gonna create those uh, any files. And then after your settings have been, uh, have been made, the emulator will need to be opened and closed four times. So it creates the, uh, the any files and uh, your, your game will be ready to uh, you know, connect. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this thing started here. So I'm gonna go ahead and close Rocket Launcher uh, UI and I'm gonna go ahead and open up Visual Boy Advance. You're gonna see a screen that looks like this. We're just gonna go straight from the top. Everything in file is good. Options, I've got set to two uh, frame skip. I've got video set to four times. And let's see the layers. I've got everything set to check there. Render method, I've got uh, direct draw. I've got DD, D3D, GL nearest and GL triangle. We're gonna go ahead and go to emulators next. I've got disable status message checked, synchronized, pause when inactive window, automatic IPS uh, patching, auto hide menu, use BIOS file and PNG format all selected. And since we're here, go ahead and select, select BIOS file. Uh, once you find that online, uh, you will place that in your, uh, uh, your Game Boy Advance folder uh, where this uh, emulator uh, folder is and you'll just drop that in there uh, and next we are going to go to sound you're going to select on all the channels are on direct sound A and B are on and then 22 K H Z is on and then volume I've got set to one for Game Boy I've got bordered automatic GBA real colors Priority, I've got set to normal. Filter, I've got set to normal. And ble uh, blending is none. Uh, joypad, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to configure, you're gonna select one, and then you're gonna type in all the keys that you want for your system and then hit okay. And you're gonna go back to options, joypad. You're gonna go to configure, two. You'll put in all your keys, you'll go on. And we'll go to joypad. Uh, well, default uh, joypad is one. Uh, I'm going to go to number three. Doesn't look like I've got anything set up there because I don't plan on having three players uh, or four players, really. So um, you won't have any uh, uh, keys in those, you know, unless you want to. Uh, it doesn't hurt anything. So next we've got uh, motion configure. I've got uh, basically the sensor. Uh, I've got another path of the keys drop down left right and we're gonna go down here auto fire I've got nothing set up language I've got English and then link this is gonna be the important one guys so you're gonna go to settings just like what rocket launcher said you're gonna go to general which is defaulted here in single computer and there's the uh, timeout sessions and the port number um, you know it all that's going to be default. So I'm going to go and, uh, you know, these other tabs are locked in. Uh, there's nothing that you can change there. So I'm going to go ahead and close that out and we're going to move on. The cheats uh, option, I've got nothing here. So we're going to keep on moving. And the tools, let's see here. So these are all different viewers, nothing in particular to what we're trying to do here. And we're going to go to customize. And these are going to be sort of your back-end uh, uh, keys, if you will. So you're going to want to set up 
uh, I, I guess a search key for your uh, cheats if you will if you want to do a quick find on your cheats uh, what you're gonna want to do though is uh, select your file exit and you'll go down here where it says create new shortcut key and you'll press the button and then you'll press a sign so then that will get you escape and you might want to do like a, a save state and a, a load state so there's f4 for file load and uh, file open um, you know that's just user preference here so these are just the basic uh, functions behind the emulator that you might use but chances are you won't so uh, once you've assigned your exit key uh, like we described we are going to close that out hit ok and that is it guys so when it comes down to uh, uh, playing a game that requires linking um, all you've got to do is uh, get player two on board and uh, you know the systems will be linked as if you were playing right next to each other and uh, you know if you have four players this screen will be sliced in four just like the old school uh, Nintendo 64 when you're playing uh, split screen um, or multiplayer it's just gonna make all the screens even so um, that's it on the Visual Boy Advance and uh, yep let me know if you guys have questions and we'll catch you next time